Hello everyone, it's Connie Ray. Thanks for joining me. I have a new tutorial for you today using the Frosted Medallions um, stamp set from our new catalog of um, seasonal catalog um, for the from the first of September to the third of uh, yep the third of January. It's our Christmas catalog from Stamping Up. Um, obviously, it is available as of today, and I have chosen my first tutorial to present to you using the frosted medallion. I like this frosted medallion for a few reasons. The main reason is besides the fact that it's absolutely beautiful. Um, I like this one because this frosted medallion you could use as a birthday icon. You could use it for any type of occasion in terms of sentiment. You could put a happy birthday with it. Lots and lots of different reasons you can actually use, well, lots and lots of different purposes and colours you could actually use this medallion with. And I love it, absolutely love it. So the first um, tutorial that I decided to do was using the frosted medallions and this is the card that I have made um, using the frosted medallion stamp set along with the um, fancy frost sequence and um, some smoky slate whisper white I've also embossed it because it is worth embossing um, it is beautiful when it's embossed it just shows up I'm just zooming out a bit more sorry guys let me just get my camera action right okay there we go um yes it's certainly worth um sorry <laughs> zooming around there um it's certainly worth embossing because it does come up beautifully especially in the silver so i'll show you exactly how i've done it really really easy to do and it also it, it just speaks volumes to me so um a lot of people i know will be getting some of these for christmas this year absolutely beautiful beautiful so the first thing that you need to do, we're going to be um, stamping on some Whisper White. Bear with me just for a second because I've now lost my Whisper White cardstock that I had ready to go. Oh, it's in here. I'm using the Misty only because you don't have to. It'll fit on your block. Um, I'm using the Misty because I want to uh, make sure that I get enough um ink on there um, to make sure that the um, sorry I've lost my words today um, to make sure that the embossing powder really grabs because this is a, a lovely sized medallion and I want it to show completely in my embossing and I don't want any of it to be missed so I might actually stamp it a few times to make sure that I actually get that solid thing but if you're using the Versamark um, and you're using your embossing buddy and you really have a juicy Versamark pad, make sure it's really juicy, stamp it up and down, you should be fine. But I'm just being extra cautious because I'm filming. So um, in saying that, I don't want to jinx myself. I've had a few funny couple of days trying to upload and hasn't worked. So, yes, it's all very exciting with our new catalogue. And because we've we've seen it since August, I think we were allowed to um, see the catalogue, and it's really hard. I mean, I know there's been sneak peeks and stuff online, and um, you can see things, and you know, you just think, oh, gee, I want my hands on all of that stuff. And of course, you can only buy so much, can't you? But this is a lovely stamp set. If you needed one stamp set, this would be a really versatile stamp set to give to people. As you can see, I'm versa marking this all over quite solidly just to make sure that it's inked well because we want to be able to emboss the um sorry i'm doing two things at once here i'm just quickly looking for my embossing powder yes i've got it here um so all right i've got my um medallion in place where i want it to be have i no i haven't i've made a big, bit of a boo-boo there let me just see yep, i want it about there yeah, I've made a bit of a boo-boo in the sense where I haven't actually... Mm, that's okay. What you can do is if you do something like I've just done, let's just leave the blooper in there, shall we? Just pop it in place. There you go. Put your mist it back on. Stamp it down really well. I didn't place it properly. I was too busy yapping. <laughs> okay. I'll just have a quick look to make sure I've got it there. Yep, looks good. So I'm just going to pop that back. Might just give it another dab just for good luck. Because you know what? Every time I get online to start recording, something happens. And my nerves are still not good with recording, but I am getting there. OK, 
Okay, let's just do that one more time. And that should be lovely. Good. Okay, I'm happy with that. You just want to make sure it's nice and juicy when you start using your Versamark so that your image, uh, especially when you're embossing, comes up really clearly. You're also going to need some smoky slate cardstock. I'll just pop this out of the way. So when it comes to embossing, I've used the silver for this one and it goes beautifully with the smoky slate, absolutely beautifully, and this medallion. So you want to make sure you're covering your icon really well. Whoop, I'm out of camera. I've never seen any got a real solution for the embossing. It's funny, isn't it? Some of the techniques and things that people have got sorted out, and it's still it's a little bit fiddly for me, but anyway, we're getting there. So give it a good flick so you can see there that it's grabbed it really well and that's what you want. You want a nice solid image so that when you do emboss, it's going to um, come up really lovely. Okay, so I'm just going to quickly just go over and just get rid of any bits that I'm not happy with where it may have grabbed sometimes if you've got oily fingers or cardstock's got a bit of markings on it, it will grab. And I don't want that on the image. So that's fine. Okay, so now I'm going to gloss. Just warm up my card. I'll try and hold it as close as I can so that you can actually... Sorry, that's my phone going off. So you can see it. There's a little bit there on the corner that I've missed out. And I'm not going to have my image missing anything. I can just see on the, let it go, there it is, just on the corner. And you can see where I put my thing, my fingerprint there. It was kind of a little, a little bit oily, so you can see where it's actually grabbed it. So that's why you need your embossing buddy, just to make sure that um, that doesn't happen to you. This is a really easy card to do too. Once you've done a couple, you'll be blazing away at it. Really easy card. And as I said, it's a card that you can use for more than one occasion. Because of the medallion, it's beautiful. All right, so we're going to emboss it. Wait for my heating tool to heat up a bit. You want to try and get your embossing um, done for your, your heat tool as hot as possible so that you don't have to spend too much time on the cardstock because otherwise it's just going to bend and carry on, but that's okay. We can straighten it out, flatten it out with a um, block or something. There we go. So as you probably don't know if you can see it, but it's actually turning and it just looks really stunning. I'm just going to turn the card around so that we don't have too much warping going on. You might just go underneath, which you can do. Will work. There we go. Beautiful. Nice and smooth and shiny, which is what you want. Okay. So while while that's cooling and doing what it's got to do, I'll just bring over my piece of cardstock which is um let me just my smoky slate cardstock of course the card side size is 11 by four and a quarter scored at five and a half the mat which is in the whisper white cardstock is five and a quarter by four and then we have this little piece of um smoky slate cardstock for your sentiment and that is about yep an inch and a half in width and it is four inches across we just want to put it across like that with our sentiment so i'm just going to put something this i should say this 
something under something heavy so it just flattens out while I do the next part of my stamping which is just going to be the sentiment. I used um, Smoky Slate for this sentiment and this is the best is yet to come which is just a lovely sentiment so I'm just going to pop that there pop that in the middle again you don't have to use the misty for this you can just use your normal stamping blocks and as I said this was done in a smoky slate or you could do it in a, in a white I think it'd look nice but I thought that the the smoky slate with the smoky slate paid, um, cardstock actually looked quite nice And I didn't emboss it, I just left it in the ink itself. Oh, I've overstamped that. That's all right, we'll pop it over and do it again. Yes, I didn't emboss the sentiment. I thought, no, I'm just going to leave the medallion, um, do all the talking because it's just so stunning. issues to come so it kind of looks um, just nice not being embossed I feel because I like the medallion to really pop so I'm going to give this quite a bit of dimension on the back so I'm just going to pop a lot of dimensionals on well as many that you know won't look too silly <laughs> Because I want it to be nice and flat and squared off. I might just put one more about here. I hope you had a chance to have a look at the new seasonal catalog. It is so cute. There is some really amazing stuff in there this year. It's always good. I've got to say, but this year they've got the, the gorgeous little um, punches with the little Santa hat. And I love the way that everything just coordinates. But this one really, this particular stamp stood out and popped out at me and said, hello. <laughs> and I love it. It's just beautiful. getting all the dimensional backs off here so of course you can go onto my blog and buy any of this, the supplies that you need which is just up there in the corner directly just going to line this up now hopefully straight there we go and then we're just going to pop this on with a couple of dimensions dimensionals It's a nice spring day here in Australia, our first day of spring. We are very excited. Thank goodness winter is over. Ooh, very over winter this year. I think as I'm getting older, it's getting yuckier for me. But anyway, it's all done now, which is great. Really excited. Okay, and we're just going to pop that up there, leaving a little bit of the white space and marrying it up just so it's all balanced. And of course a lot of dimension there so we're almost there and then the next thing that I've done is I've added the gorgeous sequence which is in the seasonal catalog and they go with the colors just beautifully and let me see these and they're called fancy frost sequence and aren't they beautiful colors they are just adorable so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use my um, fine tip glue pen and I've had a bit of problems with this because I kept um, leaving. If you're not careful, it will dry out on you. So um, just make sure you put your lid back on. But 
you know, live and learn. Now, with my my sequence, I just pop them strategically wherever. I don't think there was really a plan, but I did try and use one of every colour in the frosting because I did want it to look a bit frosty. So that one is pink. It's not really pink. It's like a mm, silver. It's an off. Yeah, it's hard to see, but you'll see it in the catalogue anyway. It's really quite pretty. There we go. And I think, oh, one over here. There we go. And just leave that to dry. That'll sit beautifully. And there you have it. That is the frosty, frosted medallion Christmas card. First cab off the rank for me. I'm sure that there, well, I know that there's been other people online doing lots and lots of different things. Um, and certainly they're all beautiful. Let's face it. So there you go. There's the frosted medallion card. <laughs> Thank you for joining me. I do hope to pop back with a new tutorial very soon. Don't forget, if you have a look in, in online, if you do go online, you will actually see, now that it's online, you'll actually see the catalogue online and all the products that are available. This is it. So um, don't hesitate to get in and have a look because they are just too cute. Look at this little punch here. How cute is that? With these guys. Just delightful. So um, beautiful star. Oh. On and on i could go on forever about it seriously because i just love it so much there's so much stuff in there so yeah that's my first oh, a little most um yeah my first cab off the rank was this one so um i'm not even sure what page it's on now there we go the frosted medallion page 37 of the seasonal catalog there it is there and all the bits and pieces that go with it so thank you for joining me and i do hope to be back shortly or soon with a new tutorial for you thanks for dropping by don't forget to subscribe and if you have any questions please don't hesitate to contact me and that will be all for today thank you ciao